welcome back to another episode of Baby Snood, and thank you for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be reading the ABCs of golf. This is a book I'm going to be reading with my grandpa. I call him Pat. And before we start, a few questions about golf. So, how many hole-in-ones have you hit? I've had three hole-in-ones. How often do you play golf? Three or four times a week, now that I'm retired. Okay, and <clears throat> do you remember when you first started playing golf? Uh, I was about 32 years old, 33 years old when I started playing golf, so I've been playing for about 37 years. Okay. A is for ace. A hole in one is so much fun. B is for ball. A golf ball is round with many a dimple, but hitting it is straight is not that simple. C is for club. You need a club to hit the ball. But if you hit towards others, four is what you call. D is for dog leg. This golf hole is called a dog leg. Do you see why? Looking at my dog, Meg. E is for electric cart. If you take an electric cart, an adult should drive right from the start. F is for flag stick. Shoot, shoot for the flat stick, but swing easy, not quick. G is for green. Green is more than a color in the golf game. Every green is different. There aren't two the same. H is for hands. Place your hands upon the club, but not too tightly. Grip it lightly. I is for instructor. See an instructor to improve and get your swing in a groove. J is for junior golf. Play junior golf. For some fun, you can play it in the sun. K is for keep, keep score. Keep score on every hole if it, it is good for your soul. L is for land. Keep the ball on dry land. Avoid hazards like water and sand. M is for metal wood. I wouldn't think that they would, they could. Oh my gosh, a metal wood? N is for nine holes. Sometimes nine holes is all you can play. But that's better than not playing at all that day. O is for on. Hitting the ball on the green is very good and part of the scene. P is for putting. But putting the ball in the hole is the ultimate goal. Q is for quiet. There is no if and or but. Remain quiet while others putt. R is for the rules. You must follow the rules of the game or you will be put to shame. S is for shoes and spikes. A solid stance must be found. Get your shoes and spikes firmly on the ground. T is for tee. You start the game with a tee. Set your ball on it, then swing free. U is for umbrella. Since weather isn't always the same, carry an umbrella and be ahead of the game. V is for visor. When the glare of the sun makes it hard to see, put on a visor for a quick remedy. W is for whiff. If you whiff, don't feel sad. It's really, really not that bad. X is for exercise. Exercise before you play so your ball won't go astray. Y is for yardage markers. Hit the green if you can. Yardage markers help you plan. And Z is for zigzag. If you zigzag, it's still fun. You see more of the course when it's all said and done. To reinforce the alphabet, we'll do a review. Say the missing letters and we'll see how you do. Look back through the pages if you need a clue. I think I know. B is for ball, C is for club, F for flagstick, S for shoes and spikes, T for T, and V for visor. The ABCs of golf is a breeze. From A to Z, you learn with ease. Alright, I hope you enjoyed, and if so, please be sure to look at my other videos, and this was a special time for me because I enjoy spending time with my family members, and it's nice to have them on the channel. Thank Thanks, you. Holden. Alright, if you enjoyed, do like and subscribe. Bye!